Welcome everyone to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Hansel, firstly, congratulations for the National Award for Shahid. I didn't get a chance to congratulate you. Thank so you. So many congratulations. And did you really think you'll reach that far for, with a film that you almost got death threats for, right? Well, uh, I knew we would go far, mm -hmm. uh, but this is in a positive way. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I thought, uh, you know, I, I'll have my bones broken or, uh, you <laughs> know, I'll, I'll be under threat. But yes, this was a very, very welcome recognition for the film. Patralekha. <laughs> you know, everyone who's seen the rushes of City Lights is raving about him, of course, and his work. But, you know, you because, you know, you're the new face. How did you get here? Um, so the casting director called me up mm -hmm. and he said that, you know, there are auditions happening. Would you come and or like to audition? Mm -hmm. And also, I knew that Hansa Sir, it's Hansa Sir's film after Shahid, so it yeah. has to be something really yeah. good. So there were like four or five rounds of audition, and the last round was with Hansa Sir himself. Okay. Yeah. So he had told me while the audition was going on, I went up to him, and when will I know it? And he told me, in two days' time, I'll give you a call. So he didn't call me for two days. <laughs> you know? And um, on the third day, he did, and he told me that I got the film. Mm -hmm. But were you very concerned as who's going to be cast with you for this film? Um, not really, I just wanted mm -hmm. a good actor, you know, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. whenever you have a good co-actor, it, it makes your job easy. Yeah, so absolutely. I just wanted a good yeah, co-actor yeah. and I think Bataleka was, they could not be anyone better than Bataleka yeah. now when we see when we see the film together. Yeah. Uh, not many would want to debut with a film like this, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great film, but it's still very intense. It's not a regular debut film for yeah. most actresses. Yeah. So did you ever think about that? Um, no, actually I didn't mm -hmm. think about that, also because I don't come from a background of filmmakers and Correct. from, you know, I'm not even from Mumbai. So, um, my dad's a CA. He always wanted me to become a CA. Huh. And I took this route. So, I thought, you know, I didn't have a second thought before I thought whether I should do it or not. Hansel, the last time we met you were telling us about how interestingly, you know, when your previous films didn't work, you took a sabbatical just to introspect and see why it was not working and what went wrong. Tell us about that phase. That phase was, uh, you know, just I realized that I was being dishonest with myself mm -hmm. when I saw the film. Mm -hmm. I realized I was dishonest with myself and I was not able to uh, find a way out of it. Mm -hmm. I felt trapped. Mm -hmm. You know, the system that we belong to, Bollywood, yeah, what yeah. we call it, is a trap. Like trapping the Bollywood. Yeah, it's, it's, a trap. Yes, it's a yes, trap. Yeah. It, uh, it's like uh, this huge web in <laughs> which you get completely <laughs> caught, uh, up, yeah. caught up. So I wanted to get free myself from that web before mm. I actually started uh, reinventing. Because I also asked myself, why am I making films? Was mm. this the reason I started making films in the first place? I uh, come from an engineering background. I mm. had a cushy job. Did I make? Did I start uh, making films to get into a job again? Mm. So I left. I left, and I did what I enjoyed. Next, right. which is cooking. Bring farming or something like that. Cooking. Right? Cooking, okay. Organic farming. Organic, Organic farming. farming and cooking. Awesome. So I just kept uh, experimenting with new recipes. So I came back to Bombay with uh, my cooking skills very Interesting. sharpened. Okay. <laughs> and, so uh, anything you can do, a cookbook at least. <laughs> I've got, I've got wow. my blog full of recipes. My awesome. blog has only recipes. Yeah. Have you tasted some of the food that he's of made? Of course, that's how wow. we do it as actors. <laughs> yeah. if you, you have to have... try his mutton to believe okay. what yeah. it was the next yeah. time. Oh, we can interview his yeah. food. We can't yeah. just do an interview like this I, I read a book by Ismail Merchant. Okay. He said all these big actors worked free for him. Mm -hmm. Because he invited them over a meal to his house <laughs> and enticed them. But like you were just saying, uh, you know, about how is, you know how Bollywood traps you as an actor mm. and someone as creative as you, uh, Rajkumar. Do you ever feel trapped too? No, the pressures and what, what happens around you. I have no insecurities. You? I have no. I don't feel any competition. I don't. I have no insecurities. I don't have to prove to anyone. And like he said, I'm here to enjoy. I'm here because because I love acting. There's nothing else I could do. Mm. So nothing can you know nothing can trap me. Like if. Mm. I have been offered films saying that you know it will make hundred crores or you know it will put you there. There's this song, dance, mm, and mm. this composer. Mm. But if I don't like a story, I don't mm. need all that. I want a good story and a good character. Mm. If you don't give me song, don't give me hundred crore, but give me that. That's what mm. I'm here for. You know, you're, you're first time actor. You're doing such an intense film. Yeah. Did it drain you some emotionally when you go back home? Are you very drained with oh. all that you played all day? Yes, uh, yeah. you know, the, uh, one is physical draining and yeah. one is emotional. Emotional, absolutely. There were days when I would just come back home and I would cry. And I would be wow. thinking that, why is it happening to these people? It's not fair. And there, there were even nights where I would just wake up 
and I would see Hansel sir directing. You know, the dreams were such that, that you know. That was a nightmare. What about you as the director? Even Shahid was very, you know, the subject itself was heavy. Yeah, she, Shahid, uh, somewhere I used to go back, uh, you know, feeling, uh, living Shahid's life. Hmm. I used to feel for him living his life. But with City Lights, uh, it was emotionally really, really, uh, yeah. you know, you went back home with a vacuum in your heart. Mm -hmm. And I almost felt like I had no love to give anyone outside the set. And that's that's very scary. Yeah, I almost felt that way. I felt that, you know, I it's all there. It you know, so I've invested all the love and empathy in my heart in those in those moments. Mm -hmm. Do you feel the same way, Rajkumar? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hmm? I totally agree with him. I, I mean think emotionally you... the journey did it really tire you out at times. No, it, it does. If you're if you're really honest to your work, it, it does tire you mm -hmm. out. Like it happened with me during City Lights or Shahid or even Kai Poche yeah. uh, in particular in few particular scenes. But with City Lights, I think it has been one of the most uh, challenging character for me so far. Mm -hmm. Like really? it has drained me out completely emotionally. I just going to ask you that when you're making such a uh, dramatic film, such an intense film, and you're shooting, you know, because the actors, you're, they're, they're emotionally investing in all the scenes and it saps them. So how do you, how do you create breakaway relief moments? A lot of humor while you're shooting. What really happens behind the scenes? Well, we, uh, we have a lot of fun otherwise okay. because, you know, Raj and me have had a... Uh, familiar equation. Yeah. Also, you know, more than uh, emotionally draining scenes, there are lots of light moments in the film. And then we've got one actor in the film, Manav Kaul, mm -hmm. who has a laughing problem. <laughs> who has a laughing problem? Yes, okay. he has a laughing problem. So, yeah. mm, there is, you know, I see some of the scenes in the film with Manav and Raj, and I break down laughing, be not because uh, they're laughing in the shot, because I know that they've laughed for half an hour <laughs> before I got a no Before the shot. Tari <laughs> Patralekha, <laughs> were you nervous shooting with Raj Kumar? Doing the kind of body of work, you know, he has. The first couple of days, yes, I was nervous shooting also because I watched Shahid and I knew there was certain kind of expectation uh, from myself as well because I wanted uh, to, you know, uh, to be equ not equivalent, if not be as good as the other actors were in Shahid. Yeah. So there was that boj, what you say. So the first three days, I was very nervous, but with time, it kind of, um, you know, easied out. But the first day, I was so nervous. I yeah. felt so thrashed. <laughs> not thrashed, not, not, not physically. Like be, <laughs> yeah. Poor yeah. thing, why you do that I, to her? No, I had to, I had to break her somewhere. Yeah, so? Because it's difficult with Rajkumar, you know, as a director, you do nothing. You know, actors perform well, the cinematographer shoots well you only ensure that everybody gives their best. Correct. Mm -hmm. And you have to find ways of doing that. And that is where your mm, sort of empirical knowledge of behavioral science comes in. That mm. you look at a person and you try to sense what is the person going through mm. at this point. How do I break this mm. in order to get... So, I had to shout at her. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Rajkumar is very empathetic towards his co-actors. <laughs> <laughs> so I screamed at her and first thing Rajkumar said, what happened? We have never seen him in that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what, so happened, what happened? What happened? I, I took Rajkumar to the side and said, Rajkumar, don't get into it. I'm doing this for her. Let me do this. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever have to break him like that when you started working with him first? When I met him, mm -hmm. I had never worked with him. I had yeah. seen only love, sex or dhoka. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I saw Ragini. I did not know which entity I was working with, actually. Okay. But <laughs> the first day of shoot, I think we connected very quickly. You know, my team had set up a look for him and they'd given him these, uh, this, you know, patch, of, patch hair. of hair on the side. So he came out and there was a riot scene that we were shooting. And he came out, he walked out and I looked at him. I said, yeah, this is looking very weird. <laughs> and uh, he looked at me, sir, should I remove this? Mm -hmm. So we realized that we were on the same wavelength. The first day we hit it off. This you would call him your swagger. muse, is that true? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have. Uh, uh, people have been asking me this, and I said, yes, he's my muse because I cannot uh, imagine uh, these two films without uh, yeah. him. You know, the late uh, Farooq Sheikh, uh, when he saw the when he saw Shahid in uh, yeah. New York, uh, he actually there was a Q and A session for Garm Hawa, okay. so okay. he came. Uh, on stage and he said, you know, I just saw Garm Hawa uh, of this uh, decade. Wow, that's and he quite said, a compliment. Yeah. And he said, you know, uh, I saw Shahid. It reminded me of Garm Hawa. And uh, that's where I very got this moment, feeling. Yeah, yeah. It was a very proud moment, you know, from somebody who was part of the original 
of of garmawa i felt really gifted at that time to have uh, you know a muse like rajkumar and then in the support of uh, mr mahesh bhat and, and yes bhat sahab just how did that happen because you know they are known currently for the certain brand of cinema that they make and then this comes about and he's just so proud about this film well i was very apprehensive initially really when rajkumar signed the film he signed yeah. the film much before i did okay and i asked him also when he signed the film i said i hope you're not doing a sex film <laughs> <laughs> you asked him that i asked him that so uh-huh. he but i have i have faith in rajkumar's uh, script vision of uh, cinema yeah. yeah so i said maybe well they they're turning a new leaf yeah and then suddenly one day rajkumar called me he said you know why don't you meet uh, bhat sahab he uh, things have not worked out with the previous director mm. and uh, why don't mm. you meet them and i met bhat sahab and uh, it was refreshing you know yeah. I, i had directed bhat sahab in 2000 In okay. my film Dil Pe Mat Liyaar, he was he acted in my film. Okay. So I went to meet him. I was a bit worried. Mm. I I am not somebody that would fit into that scheme of things. Mm. It luckily for me, uh, Bhat Sahab uh, wanted to uh, sort of deconstruct, reinvent the Vishesh brand. He felt it was yeah. time now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Shahi that somewhere you know uh, sparked of that interest in Bhat Sahab mm-hmm. and. Uh, Then the first day of shoot, I remember I was a bit still apprehensive. I signed the film. I was a bit apprehensive. I thought I was worried about him peeping over my shoulder. Yeah, I believe you were warned, right? I was yeah. warned that you know, Bhatsa will interfere. He will peep over your shoulder. But he called me. We were in Rajasthan, hmm. and I purposely sh- took a location which was really far, so Bhatsa would not have to travel. <laughs> 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 he would like never travel that far. He would. I I told him that the hotels are not good, and <laughs> don't uh, come. <laughs> it's four hours of driving. And he said, "Okay, okay." And he then he called me on the day of shoot. He said, "Be fearless, be audacious, wow. and be honest." Very nice. And just make whatever you want. So it was uh, it was a great experience, you know. And then sharing space, sharing time with Bhatsa. Interacting with him, yeah. Interacting with him is amazing. I mean, I have mm. my vocabulary is improved. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I can imagine that. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so, Patra Lekha, are you getting more offers in Bollywood already? Um. No, not anything yeah. as of okay. now. But okay. yes, I'm waiting for the release to happen, and let's see what comes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is the most special experience about this film? The most special experience. Other than the working with Hansal uh, again, of course. Well, I think uh, you know when I started the film, my only worry was the main, the most biggest worry was that I should not remind him of Shahid. Okay. You know that was okay. my challenge as an actor. That uh, that we were talking so much about Shahid that time. It just released, uh, I think, uh, mm-hmm. a month back. My only worry was he should not remind. I should not remind him of Shahid. Mm. I have to. I have to break Shahid, and I have to be somebody else. Right. So, but I think when the, then it started happening. Even I was exploring myself as an actor while performing. So I think that was the only worry I had. I think that I, I cherished that. Mm-hmm. I cherished. I think I'm gonna cherish Deepak for mm-hmm. a long time. Yeah. 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 The way it shaped up finally. Hansel, we heard about how you, you know, you went to the CBFC and you demanded the fact that how you know small films and bigger films are treated differently by them. Tell us about that. I was, I was very upset that yeah. Shahid, much before it was acquired by a big studio, mm-hmm. uh, when I went for uh, the uh, censor certificate, they gave me certain reasons for granting it a A certificate. Okay. And then I see other films. Just when I see those films, I said, why does this film get a U or a U A certificate, mm. whereas my film is singled out for A certificate. Which reduces its celebrity. Yeah, its reach, absolutely. Its reach yeah. uh, to an intended audience, and I mm. told the censor certi- censor mm. board that I said, please give me a U.A. certificate because mm. this film needs to be seen by these fourteen, fifteen year old impressionable minds who, like Shahid, will go to a terrorist camp. Yeah. I filed the RTI yeah. to know the rationale behind uh, mm. you know two films, Ram Leela and Madras Cafe. I wanted to know how did you decide on that. Mm. and uh, i i went for a sensor screening of city light so the moment i walked in the new sensor chief looked and looked at me and started you're laughing you're the guy he says oh you're the famous man <laughs> <laughs> he started laughing mm-hmm. so uh, yeah I, he said you know why don't you you should come you misunderstood us so it's not a question of misunderstanding you it i just believe that the norm should be uniform Absolutely. it should be equal totally. my fight is for equality if my film deserves a a certificate then so does ram leela Uh, period. But sir, like, have people ready you, ready you for Bollywood? Like what we say, the big bad world of Bollywood. No, not no. at all. Not at all. Yeah, yeah. I. So no one scared you that the do's and don'ts of being here no, in this business. No, absolutely you know? not. Nobody told her about me also. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
<laughs> also because you have to see the people I'm working with, you know, Hansel yeah. sir, Raj Kumar, they are as real as it can get. Absolutely. And yeah. there's Bhat Saab. Yeah. So, you know, if you're trying to be like, oh, hair tada, my makeup is not good, this is not good, that is not then they are just going to whack you. They yeah. Like, Listen. <laughs> Where are you coming from, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so you're yeah. already grounded, that's, that's great. Yeah, yeah, and I have yeah. um, gratitude. Great. Yeah. Looking forward to watching City Lights. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being on our show. I had a great time chatting with you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.